I'm Zach Schmidt. And I'm Daphne Lee Martin. And you are watching No Huntsville. <laughs> You're just scared. I'm asking for friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. This is Tom. And I'm Joe. This is No Huntsville. We have a man you know, a cool uh, special here today. We have the guys, uh, Ben and Daniel from Spice Radio, a local internet radio station that's going to be housing a lot of Tennessee Valley content uh, for just online. And it's just audio for right now, but it's mm -hmm. it's gonna be really cool. We're, we're gonna be a part of it. That's why it's kind of exciting as well. <laughs> and it's cool. uh, great to have you guys yeah. in. Thanks for coming in and talking about it. Thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for All right. Up. So in a nutshell, tell us what you guys are doing and what you're trying to accomplish and what you're gonna do here in the future with the with the station. Well, uh, Spice Radio uh, kind of just lingered in my brain since I was a kid. I grew up around here, and. Uh, Pretty much I got sick of hearing the same stuff on the radio <laughs> for right. years and years. And uh, I don't know, I always wanted, there's so much great music that I had to dig to find. And uh, I, I don't know, it, it just kind of uh, blew up out of that, that want for a real authentic, something with a local soul, you know, in it. Um, and uh, we do, we mostly talk with musicians because that's everybody we know. We love to interview those friends. guys. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know, what about you, Dan? How did you? Well, I ran into you at a 4th of July party this year, um, and you had that shirt on, and I got curious about it, and you told me the concept, and I mean, I've always wanted to do something like this, like, you know, pirate radio or local radio or So something you kind like of started that. it on your own, and then later on, you guys were talking and, and kind of got together on it? Is that how it kind of came about? Yeah, I had the um, idea way back in, like, May of last year or something way back way back. Last year. <laughs> way back yeah it seems like so much longer once you start doing when stuff. you talk to younger kids way back is not that way back that's what turned out right away but uh <clears throat> and uh, i don't know i started like a facebook group and right. just started talking to different people uh started working on uh my studio trying to get stuff settled because i i mean i'd never interviewed people before i never uh done any djing i played music all my life and i knew musicians but uh I had no experience in it, so it was just like uh, build it from the ground up. And luckily, Dan, uh, he works at local church and stuff, doing a lot of sound, so he knows all the technical stuff. I kind of grew up in a studio doing analog uh, recording, but okay. that doesn't much exist anymore except right. for a couple places in Nashville. So I kind of had to relearn everything. I'm still learning a lot. Yeah. But. Uh, Dan is and, and for people out there that don't understand or don't, have not uh, used the medium before, so what is internet-based radio? So tell me about that. Well, uh, internet radio, you can get it through a lot of different channels. The most popular, like iTunes has a lot of internet radio stations. Right, yeah. And uh, Winamp was a real big one for all sorts. I remember of, Winamp. Yeah, it's, it was very freeform, and I, I think it went free, uh, like, uh, free web. You know, the code was out free for a while there. And uh, so there's all sorts of weird, like you could hear, like German punk stations right. and like klezmer and like Far East pop stations and stuff on there. Yeah. And uh, that was that was more of a uh, just a variety on there. And and a lot of places, a lot of just regular broadcast stations have just an internet stream okay. now. So as long as you have you know a data connection. Uh, our, our radio streams up twenty four seven now with local content. So you guys have a live live bands in there right we don't uh do live shows right now what we do is uh interview and we do recordings oh, okay of you record it and then you mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and we and we kind of play it podcast style because uh that's the best way we figured out how to do it so yeah. far we started the interviews basically at the beginning once we you know had the studio up and running back in august we started reaching out to local musicians to kind of you know get our name out there saying you know this is what we're doing and we saw it as kind of a way to you know, it benefits both parties because you've got you've got a lot of bands. Even the recording technology is a lot cheaper than it used to be. So right. There's still some bands that either you know can't afford to do it or don't have yeah. you know the know how to do it well. So you know, in exchange for them coming in and doing an interview with us, they they get you know if if they choose to a, a three to four song demo out of it that they can take. Wow, out. that's really cool. Well, and that's funny yeah. too because what I started noticing is that we'd have people come in and play here and then mm -hmm. they would use this recording as their sole uh, you know, yeah, yeah, demo yeah. to get out, which I thought, that's kind of cool. I mean, yeah. that's really neat. That, oh, And we're by no means professional. Can we but, sue them? 
<laughs> well, we're going to. We'll talk about that later. That's another episode. That's phase two. Uh, but phase I think two. that's kind of co- cool that if you, you know, some, the bands can just concentrate on what they do and mm-hmm. hold some, some of these other sort of uh, mediums can kind of come up around them and help them get their word out. And I think yeah. that's what mm-hmm. definitely we're trying to do, but I think that's really cool that you guys are doing that as well. I think... Uh, I think there's a there's a probably, the bands probably sound a lot better when you when you guys when you guys <laughs> <laughs> our audio audio screws up all the time so yeah you guys probably have us up on that one it's a tough meeting to work with but we, we try to get like the best representation of their sound that we possibly can. right so yeah we tell everybody when they come in like if they want to bring in stuff that they've already recorded that's great we just want them to you know sound as good as they can yeah so yeah, yeah. yeah take this out and say hey this is what we sound like you know take a listen right. That's cool. So, are you guys open to um, the public contacting you? Like, if they have an idea about a radio show they want to do or yeah, something no, like that? So that's so, yeah, that's so that's a good point. You're right looking now. for yeah. more contributors to yeah. the station yes. right now. So, right. podcasters, obviously musicians. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we've been talking about the comedy angle too because that's getting huge comedy here in town. Is eating everything we're, we're totally yeah. behind it, and there's a lot of good guys in, uh, in town. We, we've been kind of starting discussions about doing some type of collaborative shows. Mm-hmm. And your guys' medium is going to be the place that I think to do that. There's going to be it'd be great to have one hub where you can get all local yeah, stuff, and that's, it's that's, really that's what we're the idea. Yeah. And that dude, we're totally on board for that because I think yeah. that's that's a great way to, to get it out there. Yeah, I'd love for it to be. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. That, yeah, the next big thing that I'd love to have is a person in charge of just like a calendar, pretty much. So we can get like a Huntsville calendar, of, not of the weekly we, stuff, but like all the good stuff that. Uh, you know that is like once once a chance you know like once a week because uh brad posey um the guy over at uh wlrh the invisible, invisible city, city that's great. a great show oh yeah he's, he's awesome and uh he does a lot of uh local advertisements for shows and stuff but right. there's i mean there's like the valley planet and stuff but it's like all muddled down and uh hopefully if we could become that hub for like huntsville just like bringing the different groups together because they're here you just gotta like yeah Dig them out. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Connect them all. Uh, together. And again, I think that you're the sh- the show that you guys are putting together and trying to put together. It goes right along with what we're trying to do. Is just trying to explain that this is there's a lot of good talent here in town. There's oh yeah. Just music, oh, yeah. not only music, mm-hmm. but there's artists and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. You just got to open your eyes and, and get out there and do it. And hopefully, both of our sort of endeavors here will help to push that. And I think that's that's kind sure. of a cool. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So um, so let's to that. We are on your station right now. That's right now right. we're streaming at 7 <laughs> p.m. Right. right? Yeah. Is it right now? No, it's no, uh, not quite. No, not literally. <laughs> but in about 40 minutes, we'll. Our yeah, show yeah. gets on. So mm-hmm. they're pushing the No Huntsville um, uh, video cast, just audio version of it, um, yeah. on your station at 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. And it runs until that, that particular one's over. And then you guys are doing reruns for us on, uh, as well. Um, so Yeah, pretty much the way we're building it up. It's like the weekends got all the new content. So we put y'all's new shows up uh, like 7 p.m. Boom. And uh, we get some of our interviews in at 8, our newest ones. And uh, then the week you just kind of cycle through the older content so people get you know a chance to hear who are some of the new that, new people stuff. you got on there now um we've got a good friend named andy mason he's playing a show i wish i could remember the date um over a cup of everything which i've never gone to a show there mm-hmm. yet but it's a real cool place downtown and yeah uh, who else who do we have uh, this uh, weekend? we just did an interview we just released an interview with uh brian zarimba who was a guy who who used to be in a we're about band. to release that one yeah uh, well um, probably by the time this show is posted uh, it's true, it's true. <laughs> um, but he, he was in a local band called exalted ruler 1998 which was like, like three crazy noise four music. years ago yeah, four or five years uh, ago nice. yeah, it's been a while. he's since gone to school up at mtsu and he's uh, living in nashville now but he actually just came back and did an interview with us and we're going to release it uh sometime soon we've already got his stuff uh streaming on our station nice yeah we've had um we've had them damn dogs on we've had uh Save your fry, uh, casket. Well, not yet, but soon enough. Yeah, we've been, we've been working with uh, casket kids uh, who play around here a lot. Oh yeah. So we've had we've had some great folks come through. So right now they can go to spice dash radio dot com. They can yep. listen to the the the, uh, the um, audio stream there. Um, you guys are putting together the content. Is there a thought later on where Spice Radio would be on something like the iTunes store where they could download and get content put to their devices? Is that something you guys are looking to do? Or? We're working on getting our uh, podcast kind of up on iTunes and all those normal places. Right now you can just download it straight uh, MP3 file from right. our website. Right. And uh, I'm not 100% like uh, clued into what their radio, they're a little bit more strict and like... Sure, yeah. Uh, 
about their radio station. So we don't we don't really uh, we would love to be there. And uh, I mean, I'd love to be in the sound, in the airwaves at some point. Right. Yeah. But yeah. That's yeah. you know that's that's a ways away. But right sure. now, yeah, people can get it. Um, spicedashradio.com slash radio or you can just like click on the icons we got some salt shaker icons um, and salt. those will take you <laughs> take you straight to them uh, just the play button and just hit it should work on your phone your computer whatever great and great. just give it a listen so yeah check it out spicedashradio.com also you have a Facebook page where you can post different things that you guys are doing I saw you guys post images of the, the, the recordings that you guys are doing with the different bands which is really cool Check their page out, like their page, uh, go on to their website and listen to good local content listen like to you guys. No Huntsville. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <You said good>. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to start offering up our um, videos, um, or sorry, just the audio stream um, of our uh, shows on our website as well. I think you guys, you started giving us files, so we're going to start yeah, doing yeah. that. Nice. Someone asked us recently if they could that. download our stuff right onto their phone really? so they could work out to it and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I, thought, I was like, yeah, all right, that sounds good. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what we do here. But uh, guys, thanks for, so much for coming in. That's Spice awesome. Radio. Yeah. We're really excited about it. What I think it's going to get bigger and bigger. It's a mm-hmm. great idea, and everybody should help support it. So yeah, yeah. check these guys out. If wants to DJ, has music that you know no one's playing that you want to uh, bring to us, yep. just we'll get you on Please the radio. Please give us your content. Yeah. Yes. yes. Joe's going to be a DJ. Yeah, yes. Heck yeah. We're going to have Joe on a Some DJ. Dance so that's going to be great. Man. We'll do podcasts, <laughs> even if your friends just hang around and talk about movies or something. Yes. Well, they'll it's put anything outlet. up. It don't matter. Creative <laughs> outlet for you guys. Get in touch with these guys. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming well, in. Thanks so yeah. much for having us. Awesome. All right. So this is tw- it's 24-7? I mean, you guys are just always streaming it? Yep. Yep. It's nice. pretty much good. It's good. They have somebody it's over there local. constantly cranking to make sure it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dozen hamsters down the back. <laughs> <laughs> or just one redneck and a bunch of meth. That's all you need. One of the I know whatever's cleaner. Just one guy. The hamsters are the redneck. <laughs>